What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Juan TV, and I am back with another video. Before we get into today's video, make sure you like this video, follow your boy on IG, make sure you follow your boy on TikTok, but make sure you most importantly subscribe to the channel. All right, y'all. So in today's video, we have a review of one of the best collabs of 2022, but also one of the most underrated at the same time. The shoe is hard. The shoe is fire. The first colorway, I wasn't really feeling like that, but this colorway is definitely. A lot better in my opinion and he's making his shoes more available to the public unlike his past collaborations which is why this shoe is being so underrated and undervalued with that being said the shoe we're getting into today is the tom Sachs and nike general purpose shoe in the dark sulfur colorway same box as the first colorway the studio colorway you got the nike craft right there on the top nike general purpose or tom Sachs, whatever it says right there general purpose shoe tom Sachs, and then under the lid you do have some writing under the lid if you want to pause it and read that go ahead and be my guest box label read general purpose shoe colorway is dark sulfur white light cream this is a size eight in women's which is six and a half men's so I did get the studio colorway, the uh, gray and blue one. I did get that one in a size seven or eight and a half women's, which is my true size, but it fit a little big to me. So I decided to go with a six and a half in this one. And I do say they fit a lot better. Wow, so I got the shoes right here, the Tom Sachs general purpose shoe in the dark sulfur colorway. Now this colorway is a lot harder than the studio colorway, in my opinion. In my opinion, in my opinion, in my opinion, these go crazy, bro. The yellow, white, the cell or cream midsole, the orange hit, these is fire. Starting with the review, you have this same waffle iron type of outsole, the same outsole you have on like your Sakai waffles and things like that. Just an all black waffle outsole. Going up to the midsole, you have this cream midsole, kind of like this basketball print same thing as the studio colorway but like i said about that shoe that shoe specifically i did not like the color of the mint so it was like this peanut butter brown color i didn't really like it but this one the cream on this is definitely a dope vibe it's definitely a dope look and i definitely really like this one going up to the top you have that all over sulfur or yellow suede and mesh material you have the suede right here around the toe going around the side all the way back to the heel as well and then going up you have this very lightweight mesh on top of the shoe you do have like this yellow kind of painted material right here on the top of the toe box i don't really know if this cracks over time or if it like has some type of effect when you wear it over time but i am curious to see what happens as you wear the shoe over time you have a white swoosh and you do have cream laces and a cream tongue with this orange pull tab and the same orange pull tab is back here on the back heel and then you do have nike stamped back there on the back of that ass and the insole is yellow with the black swoosh and as well as black nike craft in there and yeah man it's just a hard shoe in my opinion this is a lot better than that studio colorway for me that colorway was simply the midsole like if that colorway had this midsole on it it would have been a lot better shoe that's just my opinion actually saying that now i don't think that's still true i still think i would like this one better than that one because i like brighter shoes if y'all don't know especially yellow yellow on shoes is hard if y'all saw my um review on the taxi jordan ones or the lightning fours or anything like that y'all can y'all know yellow on shoes is just it for me i don't know what it is about it but it's just fire and like this is like you know you just out chilling you know you got a nike sweatpants on an oversized tee oversized hoodie or something and you got these on your feet and it's like a if you know you know type piece you know what i'm saying but it just is what it is the shoe is just hard you know for everyday throw around shoe for retail 110 this is a very very good shoe to have i did hit these on the sneakers app when they dropped or restocked i don't know because i just got these in today which is october 3rd and these drop i want to say like september 
9th, September 30th, something like that. I don't know if that was an actual drop at all. I don't know if that was a restock. I don't know what was going on because I don't really follow the Tom Sachs joints like that. But yeah, these right here is definitely hard. I fuck with these heavy. And it's something that's definitely going in my rotation. I just like the aesthetic. So I might throw some fits together with it. Probably cozy fits, more than likely. But yeah, this right here is very dope, solid shoe. I like the brightness of it. Just all around, the all different colors that's on the shoe. And it's just a dope, different shoe. Nothing really crazy about it. It's just bright color. Got the yellow, orange, cream, white. Go crazy and go dumb. And I just really like this shoe. And also really like this colorway. All right, y'all, that is my review on the Tom Sachs and Nike general purpose shoe in the dark sulfur colorway. Let me know what you think about these shoes. Let me know if you pick these up for retail. Let me know if you pay resale for them. And let me know if you even care about this model anyway. Because like I said in the intro, a lot of people not caring about the general purpose shoes simply because of how available it is. There was even a thing where these were available at Kohl's and people were mad that it was at Kohl's because they didn't want to go to Kohl's to get this shoe. You feel me? Like... Stuff like that I will never understand. Like, if you want a shoe, it shouldn't matter where you go to. You feel me? And a good example that I um, talked with TJ and she brought out was that y'all camp out at Walmart for PS5s and all this other stuff, but you can't camp out at Kohl's for a, a shoe that you really want. You feel me? Like, I don't I don't get it. Anyway, this is definitely a dope hard shoe. It's just not getting the recognition it deserves because of the availability and the value of it. Like the Tom Sachs Marjard, those are going for like what, 2000 1500 3000 whatever, you feel me? These going for like 150 the Studio Pair going for like 250 So it's like they're definitely more affordable. But that's also because they're more available and Tom Sachs said that he was going to make these more available so that people can get their hands on them and feel like they're actually obtainable. This is a vibe, this is a dope shoe, and I fucks with it, you feel me? But anyway, I'm about to end this video off with our own feet. So y'all hope y'all like this own feet. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm gone. Get it.